Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. I wasn't even planning on recording today, but I've been having such trouble with my recording software that I just like, I had a break between work and rehearsal and I decided to test it out and it was working. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to take advantage of this. So I decided to record a video right now. So in the last episode of The Royal Family, we focused on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs. I showed you guys the amazing custom content that we have for them. I love it so much, it's gorgeous and amazing. Amazing, and I love that we can add so much more to the Oasis Springs Palace. We also got to focus on some of the noble families, specifically Lady Tierra, who was Queen Alice's and Prince Edmund's half-sister, and she married Sir Derek right away, so she is going to be the future Earl, I believe? Uh, yeah, she's gonna be the future Earl of Windenburg. So in this episode, we're going to focus a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys some of the noble families that I have just grouped together because I like made a bunch of stuff happen in between recording, so I'll show you guys all that. Also, Queen, or Queen Anna, Princess Anna, is going to get married finally to Sir Marshall. She's been in a relationship with Sir Marshall for so long, so I'm excited that she's finally going to get married and maybe we'll try for a baby with them as well. So before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So it is Saturday at 10 p.m. I don't think we're going to have the wedding until the morning. I actually do since I am recording this video in between rehearsals and work I do need to go fairly soon so this isn't going to be a super super long video but I am going to at least show you guys what we have done so I don't think this was here the last episode oh my gosh guys <gasps> no my what is this guys what is happening to my paintings oh my gosh and it's just that painting too and this one what in the world is this <gasps> no you guys, oh my gosh. I don't know if this has to do with the fact that we like got the update. Oh my gosh, Bubbles is walking all over me. Um, I don't know if this has to do with the fact that like the update just came out for The Sims and I haven't updated any of the mods yet. But oh my gosh, I swear if this stays like this, I'm gonna have to like recreate. I don't even really remember what Queen Sybil looked like. I That was like the only reference. I mean, I'm gonna have to look back at some of the videos when I showed you guys the portraits, but Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like recreate these portraits. That's so, that's, that stinks guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so, oh, and oh, no, the family sibling portrait that I had of them. Oh my God, can I create a copy? Okay, I created a copy. Where does the copy go? Um, what? Where did it go? Okay, oh, she has to go to it. If I create a copy, will that make it appear like regularly, Princess um, Anna has created a copy. This object has been sent to her inventory. No, you, what? Um, no. Guys, what are we going to do? Oh my gosh. I'm, no, that was when he, that was when Prince Kellen was a top. I swear, okay, they better, they better fix this. I hope this comes back up. I hope that this isn't going to happen for a long time. I knew that was happening because I, I painted a portrait of Princess May and I, it was coming out like this and I was like, oh, okay, I guess, I don't know, I'll just have to do that later. But like when I put it in the inventory, oh no, it's still coming out as dark. What? What? Guys, it was showing it before and Princess Amira, her portrait is fine. What in the world, guys? What is happening? I hope this is not, a, this, I hope this is not a thing. I hope this is not a permanent thing. Hopefully this will get fixed. Otherwise I'm gonna have to fix some serious stuff. Oh, I'm so upset, you guys. Okay, anyway, sorry. I not to not to dread on that any longer. Um, but what was I gonna show you guys? I was gonna show you guys the portraits that are now like ripped apart. Um, but I did also make a guest bedroom. So some of you guys asked, like, why is Princess Anna and Sir Marshall staying at the Windenburg Palace? And it is because I just because like Queen Alice passed away. So these kids like don't have a mother figure in their life anymore. And King Henry is busy being king and raising three children. So I think they just need help. I think that they came to be like good, a good, she, like she's just a good sister. Princess Anna is a good sister. So she wanted to help her brother take care of the kids. So, I mean, I, I know it's kind of like not like kind of pointless in the story because I want them to try for a baby after their wedding. And honestly, as soon as she has her baby, we'll probably have them move back home. 
but or maybe when they're teenagers we'll have them move back home but i just thought it was nice to have just like a full house again so yeah that that was my reasoning behind it but i did make this nice little bedroom for them i used a custom content bed and this little curtain thingy is also custom content and so are the nightstands um but i love it i think it's very classy i like like the golden yellow and the white it's very simple there's not much here just because they're not staying for very long but i enjoy this i enjoy this room a lot and i just made their nursery smaller so i got rid of some stuff they didn't need like the puppet show thing we weren't really using that so i got rid of that i also rearranged the bedroom a little bit this is now king henry's bedroom it was queen alice and king henry's bedroom i still have the paintings in here of queen alice which seem to be fine thank goodness i don't want anything to happen to these paintings but i have the painting of her and then this portrait of her too and I just rearranged the furniture and I added this carpet. And to me, it looks much better than it did before. I did not like the way it looked before. So this just looks fuller to me. So I do like this. Also, it was very popular opinion, you guys. The episode that Queen Alice passed away, a lot of you were saying that you don't think that King Henry should remarry. So that, I, don't, I didn't have one person who said that they think that he should remarry. So I'll respect your guys' wishes. I, I kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, if that's the majority, then that's fine. Um, but if you guys do see anyone that you think would, that makes him happy, then you can let me know like any suggestions on if you think he sh if if you think he might remarry like a suggestion on who it would be, but he doesn't have to remarry. That's fine. Um, so we definitely, oh, I got, also want to show you guys the wedding outfits we picked. Also, because I haven't updated any of the mods or anything, they're all blank and empty and they're not working. So yeah, so hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, otherwise that would be a problem, uh, but I think it'll be okay. So yeah, now you'll, you'll just see a lot of like just random blank stuff that I have no idea what they mean. So anyway, uh, so before the wedding, I have this great little place that I think is perfect for them to get married. So we'll definitely go to that in a second. I just want to show you guys their wedding outfits too. So we'll just have her change into the outfits from here so that you guys can see. This is beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this. I love it so much. So this is Princess Anna's wedding dress. And I put like a, a little tear on her. I put this like pearl choker on her. I think this is amazing and perfect for her. This is custom content hair too. And just the jewelry and the whole dress and everything, guys. It's amazing. And I think it's so her i'm so excited for her to wear this all right i'll have her change back into her everyday outfit and then for sir marshall i have this just white tux that i think came with the vintage party out uh, pack or something like that um so this is what we have for him i think it's great i think it's perfect i like not i wasn't sure about like the vest inside if that would really go but i think it's okay he's feeling very very flirty at the moment so He's blushing really hard. So that is what I have for them for their wedding outfits. And I'm super excited for them to get married. They're going to get married at the Grand Hotel of Windenburg. I think that's what it's called. I did download it from the gallery and I added a little archway to it too. So I am excited for you guys to see that. I will drop the link in the description below for that link to the gallery. Um, and then, I mean, with the kids and stuff. Oh, oh, right. So some of the things that we did, I was kind of like, hoping this would just fast forward the time. I need to check how much time I have left to, to record. Oh dang, okay, so I actually have like 10 minutes left. Um, I thought I had a little bit more time than that, but apparently not. So I do want to make sure that we are, I don't want to start the wedding at like 5 a.m., maybe at least 8 a.m. I know it's super early, but I want it to at least be like 8 a.m. when we start the wedding. Uh, but like, if I go show you guys like all the noble families, it's going to stop time. So I've also, I didn't realize how many days went by when I was filming because like just just when we i think of two like two videos ago two episodes ago it was the first day of spring now it's like the first day of summer already whose birthday's today oh sir marshall's birthday is today whose birthday is tomorrow <gasps> guys king henry's birthday is tomorrow oh my gosh oh my gosh sir marshall's going to get married on his birthday that's awesome that's kind of cool. That's like the best birthday present ever. When they cut the cake then, I'll probably add some wedding or some birthday candles so he can go ahead and age up also. I'm assuming he's aging up into an adult 
and yeah, okay, and not an elder because I, I, he's definitely not that much older than Princess Anna is. She's still got a long ways to go before she is an adult though. So, okay, now it's 8 a.m. I think it's time that we can start this wedding. So let's go ahead and plan a social event. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for Princess Anna to get married. It's been, it's been a while. So let's go ahead and do the wedding. I can't make it a gold event during a holiday. It's a holiday? Uh, okay, it's not an important holiday, I don't think, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be a gold event. So, uh, of course, our family, King Jared. I started changing all the names because someone was saying, like, it wouldn't be, like, Sir Marshall. It would be, like, Lord Marshall. Like, it wouldn't be Sir. Sirs are for knights. So I, st I started changing names to Lord, but I haven't changed a lot of the names to Lord yet. So you'll see some sirs and some Lord, but eventually, hopefully I'll get all the male nobles to go to Lord. So yeah, just you guys will see. It'll be a little bit inconsistent, but hopefully that won't last for too long. It just takes a really long time. And I did not realize how many children were here or not how many children. Well, yeah, how many children of the noble families there were. So anyway, yeah. So Queen Cora, of course, do we want to invite Duke Addy? I don't know. Oh, we don't have that many people to invite. Does Princess Anna not know that? Oh my gosh, guys, Marquis Eliza is finally an elder. It was taking so long for her to be an elder. She's been an adult for so long and she is is like Princess Anna, King Henry and King uh, Queen Cora, their father's sister. And he passed away a long time ago, guys. And she was still an adult. I was like, there's no way she's that much younger for real. Like that's just, uh, she she's lasted forever i swear so we're gonna have a mixologist and a musician as well and then we will have this at it is a restaurant technically so we're going uh oh where is it it is oh my gosh bubbles no not right now he is squeaking his toy and like no not right now seriously i'm gonna get him while this is loading Okay, so we are at the Grand Hotel. Princess Anna is not wearing the right dress. They did give her, I mean, that's a great dress for a wedding dress, but not the one that we want. So let's go ahead and change her into her wedding dress and we can change Sir Marshall into the tux that we picked out for him. Then I also need to make sure everyone's needs are up, which they are not. I should have done that before we got here. So make happy, make ha- oh, no, not marriage. Um, Cheat need, make happy. Yay, guys, they look so, oh, they look so good. I'm excited. Princess Amira can't find a chair and table surface to be able to do this activity. What activity? What do you want to do? Why are you angry? Stop being angry at your aunt's wedding. What is wrong with you? She's so moody, guys. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be a horrible teenager, you guys. Seriously, I'm not excited for that. It's prank day. I don't want prank day. I don't want to be a part of this. Oh, fine. Okay, I guess we have to. Okay, um, so first things first, we're going to get married. So get married to Sir Marshall Brindleton. And I don't think, I usually like change their name, but I don't think I'm going to change her name to Brindleton. I think I'm going to keep it as Windenburg because she's still the princess of Windenburg no matter what. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm, I don't know, but I usually change the other princesses' names. I don't know, guys, I'm having a hard time with this. Let me know what you think. I probably won't do anything for now. I'll probably just change it later, but it's 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 hard to keep up with all these names and stuff, guys. It's, oh my God, look at her though. She's like, it's my wedding day. I'm beautiful. <laughs> That's literally what's going through her head right now. That's so funny. Princess Anna is a little bit full of herself. Not full of herself really, but like she knows she's beautiful, so. There's that, uh, but I guess that's okay when you're an actress. Also, she is a an actress. Yes, yeah, she's a, uh, oh, I guess, but, oh, uh, what is she? A superstar. Oh, she's a superstar. That's what it is. I was like, what is this called? Um, she's a superstar, so she got a promotion. She's on level nine of the of the acting career. Yeah, that's what it's called. Of the acting career. So she's, like, really pursuing her dream, guys. I'm so happy for her. I think she definitely wants to be level 10 for sure. But for now, at least, like... Like, level nine is, is pretty good, considering, like, where she came from. What are you lady doing? You better not stand there doing... What is happening? Is is Sir Marshall sick? Oh, no. Take this medicine. Wait, are you sick? Um, but you're supposed to get married. Like, what are you... What are you doing? Get married, please. Okay. Sir Marshall has successfully combated his cold. Okay, but what are you... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to reset you. This is ridiculous. Reset because you need to get married to Princess Anna right now. What are you doing, God? What? Your fiance isn't around, she's right here. She's right here. I'm gonna teleport you. This wedding better go well. 
I'm not, I'm not in the mood for a wedding that's not going to go well. She's literally, she's on the lot. I don't know why it's saying that she's not around. That's, and everyone's just standing around too. Like, what is this? What's going on? Okay, get married. Because that's what we asked you to do a while ago. Okay, this woman is standing in the way. She will not move. Seriously, woman, move. What is wrong with you? Why is she? She's ruining this for real. This is not, I, I don't want to zoom in this close. <laughs> You literally have to be like right here though. Like this is insane. Okay, did she leave? Nope, she's still there. She is still there, you guys. This I have this side profile of a, of a woman that I don't want in here. This is not fun. But they are finally getting married and I'm really excited. And I love this backdrop that we added to it too. This is actually really, really nice and really cute. Oh guys, I'm so happy for her. I am so happy for her, guys. I love her. Princess Anna is awesome. And I love that she like went to the Windenburg Palace too. I love her hair too, guys. I love this hair. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's like a huge bun. It's gigantic. But yay, they're finally married. Okay, so what a beautiful ceremony. Um, I took a lot of screenshots. So where is the wedding cake? Because we also want to blow out birthday candles too. So it'll be kind of like a little wedding party thing. Oh, you know what? Can we... Okay, oh no, no, no. Request this table, the, the bigger table. Because you can just like make a cake appear if you are at a restaurant. I forgot about that. Guys, we need to have birthday parties at restaurants more often because you can literally just say like, order birthday cake and it's right there. Like you don't have to worry about anyone cooking it or anything, so that's awesome. I kind of wish this could be a private venue and we would only like have to worry. Also this guy, no, wait, he's wearing the same tux. Duke, Addy, he's wearing the same tux that Sir Marshall is. Change. Do I have to make Sir Marshall change? I, this is his wedding. He should be able to wear what he wants. This is ridiculous. Okay, so where is Princess Anna? She requested this table. Thank you, ma'am. And then let's, oh wait, I thought we could order a birthday cake. Okay, bring out cake. Yes, okay. Let's have a, let's have a tiered cake, guys. We don't know anyone like good enough at cooking to have a tiered cake. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, this is the first, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I like this. I love this. Okay, she's adding the wedding topper to it. And then we'll, we'll wait, no, no, because then you have to, wait, no, no. I want to, wait, should we just ask for another cake? I don't know. Let's, let's do the birthday candles first and then we'll do the wedding. Because you have to cut into the wedding cake to have the wedding topper. So we'll do the birthday candles first because Sir Marshall, the only thing he would have to do is blow out the candles. So... Let's blow the candles. That's awesome. So his his anniversary is going to be on his birthday. Not really, but you know, in, in real life it would be. Uh, so let's go ahead and have him blow the candles. I really love this venue, you guys. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I'm missing this. I was going to show you guys the venue, but never mind. <laughs> because he's blowing out the candles. And I don't want anyone to eat the cake before we put the wedding topper on. So Sir Marshall aged up. Yay. Okay. So then let's put the wedding topper on now. And what, seriously, Duke Addy, you have, you're the only one wearing the same outfit as Sir Marshall and you have to stand right next to him. That's fine. I love this cake, guys. It's beautiful. This is awesome. Okay, so they are cutting into the wedding cake. So we're pretty much, I mean, that's mostly what you have to do during a wedding is like get married, cut into the wedding cake. I think you have to like grab some drinks or something too. Um, oh, <gasps> I've never seen that interaction before you guys and I missed it. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And then freaking Duke Addy is in the way. Otherwise this would be really cute. Oh my gosh, stop. I did not know they do that. I've never actually seen them cut into the wedding cake. That's kind of sad, but oh my gosh, that's awesome. I didn't know that they would do that. That is so cute. Okay. Lady Valentina Willow, why do people read books? That's easy because they like the author. No, she wants us to be an author. We don't want to be. Um, why is, oh gosh, oh. No, King Henry has the emotional quirk. Emotional, emotional bomb quirk. What is happening? Was he just trying to hug that person? That was a glitch. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I think we have to reset him because something is glitching out. But what I was going to show you, oh, argue about parenting. Asked to take a picture of Lord Franklin. This is his cousin. Uh, ask about career. I don't know. Just be nice. Um, okay, and then Sir Marshall. Oh, no, guys. We <gasps> we forgot to invite Sir Marshall's sister and mother. Oh, no. Princess Anna is going to get 
a lot of heat for that. Oh no, I thought she knew them. Why weren't they on the guest list? Shoot. Okay, well, that sucks. That's gonna suck. Okay, well, anyway, yeah. So we still have a little bit of time for the wedding, but there are bedrooms up here. So, oh my gosh, guys, Princess Anna looks gorgeous. Like, actually, like, amazing. Like, the tiara and the hair and the dress and everything is beautiful, and I love it so much. Um, but, yeah, so there's bedrooms up here. So it's, it is. It's like a hotel because all the bedrooms are the same, which is kind of nifty. So why don't you have them try for a baby? Because I think, I think it would be time for her to have a baby. I'm excited, guys. I really am. I love Princess Anna a lot, and I'm glad she is staying with the family Winterberg because we haven't gotten to see her very much for, like, the past, like, probably, like, 15 episodes or something like that. So I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad she's back here. I love her a lot. Um, but they're going to try for a baby if she can, it looked like she was having a lot of trouble getting out of there with the plate. So they're going to go try for a baby. This is really a beautiful, beautiful venue. I mean, let me show you guys, like, the full effect of this. Like, look at this water. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing with like the little islands and stuff in here. I want this for our castle, you guys. I actually would love it if our castle looked like this. It would be absolutely amazing if our castle looked like this. Just the front of it too. There's no like room for a backyard though. And like, I think we need a backyard, but it's just, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so they are trying for a baby or they're about to, and then hopefully she'll be pregnant. Uh, did, she, did she just bring that plate into bed with her? Did you guys see that? I swear she just brought that. She has the plate, you guys. She has the plate. <laughs> I can't right now. You need to. You need to get rid of that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. She she just brought the plate with her to try for a baby. Okay, that's fine. Okay, these these also like are set up amazingly. Like just the bedroom on one side with a little lounge area on the other and then like the bathroom and everything. That is so cool. I love this venue, you guys. Okay, did you use the bathroom or did you take a pregnancy test? Did you not take a pregnancy test? Try for a baby. What is wrong with you? This woman needs to get out of here. Is this our caterer? Can you leave, lady? Like this is not, this is not for your eyes. What are you doing? Get out! She's gonna stand there, you guys. She's going to stand here. This is not, this is not what you want. This is, can you, are you serious right now? Can you get out? What is it with people at this wedding just standing here? Also, why are you not trying for a baby? Is it because this lady is right there? That's probably why. Can you try for a baby over here, please? Because this is, this is not working and I need to go. I need to go to rehearsal. It's, I just checked the time to get to DC because that's where my, my rehearsal is. It is going to take 53 minutes to get there. That's awesome. All right, that's fine. It'll, it's gonna take a long time, guys. It's, it's great. Without traffic, it takes like 25 minutes. Traffic here in DC, if any of you guys from the DC area, it is insane. It is absolutely insane. Cause yeah, it's supposed to take 25 minutes technically without traffic, but it's gonna take 53 minutes. It's awesome. Okay, so Sir Marshall, someone's calling you. Uh, your sister's calling you. She called you twice. Probably like, why the heck was I not invited? She congratulated on him on his wedding and then congratulated him on his birthday and she wasn't invited to either one. I should have told her to come. I should have told her to come here. Dang. Well, it's kind of too late now. So uh, Prince Callan's feeling uncomfortable. Career gig picker. What is that? Career gig? What? What is this? Oh my, what? Guys, what is happening? Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. That is so strange. Okay, well we got a gold medal for, or a, a bronze medal for their wedding. Oh, they are in the middle of doing stuff. Um, King Henry is just standing by the fireplace by himself. <laughs> um, okay, and then the Princess Anna, go take a pregnancy test. Hopefully she's pregnant. We will see. Yay, she's pregnant! Guys, Princess Anna is pregnant. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm just gonna tell Sir Marshall right now too. This was great. This was successful. Even though the random people just stood there in front of every view we were trying to get, but that's fine. I thought she was gonna tell Sir Marshall, but I don't actually know where he went. I think my game's being a little bit glitchy. I think I need to do some updates for sure. Sir Marshall has gone downstairs on his wedding in his pajamas. 
So that's fine. So I think we're gonna end this video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are happy that Princess Anna and Sir Marshall finally got married and they're pregnant. So when Princess Anna has her baby, we'll probably have her move back home to Del Sol Valley. But just for now, I'm glad that she's with the kids and being supportive and helping out. But in the next episode, I'm not quite sure yet what we're doing for the next episode. I have like some ideas in mind, but you guys will just have to see next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode.